So this is the problem we are going to be solving today. Solving the complex number system, x squared minus 2x equals 35. And the x squared minus 2x is in absolute value bars. And we are also going to be using the quadratic formula up in the top right. And also for the complex number part of it, the i squared equals negative 1. So, to start the problem, we know from um, using absolute values prior to this that when you have an absolute value, there's going to be two possibilities. And it's go one's going to be negative and one's going to be, the answer is going to be, one of the answers are going to be negative and the other is going to be positive. So, we're going to start with the positive. So, we're going to have x squared minus 2x equals 35 and this one is very simple it's going to be x squared minus 2x we're going to bring the 35 over to the other side so we're going to subtract 35 just like that then we're going to factor this so 2 numbers that multiply to negative 35 and add up to negative 2 are 7 and 5 and one is going to be negative and the other is going to be positive so to get negative 2 we're going to start off with negative 7 and a positive 5 so we're going to have x minus 7 and x plus 5 you're going to set those both to 0 so x minus 7 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0 so when you do that x is going to equal positive 7 and it will also equal negative 5. And to check that you're going to put 7 in this uh, original equation right here. You're going to put 7 in place of x and you're going to see if it equals 35. So 7 squared minus 2 times 7, which is 14, should equal 35. And it does, so that answer checks. And we're also going to check negative 5. So negative 5 squared is 25 minus 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10. So neg um, minus negative 10 would be like adding 10. So 25 plus 10 also equals 35. So both of these answers check. And these are both real number answers. Now for the second part, we are going to have x squared minus 2x equal negative 35. And you're going to bring the 35 over to the other side, so you're going to add 35 to each side. And that is the equation we get. And when we try to use 7 and 5 again, it does not work because both the 7 and 5 would either have to be positives or negatives, and that won't work to get negative 2. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to be using the quadratic formula. So, x equals the opposite of b, which is the opposite of negative 2, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b, which is 2, or negative 2, minus 4a, which is 1, and c, which is 35, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1, then 2 plus or minus negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 35 is 140, divided by 2, x squared, x equals 2 plus or minus 4 minus 140 equals negative 136 
and we know that we can't have a negative underneath a square root so we are going to be using the complex number system for that so like I said earlier I squared is equal to negative 1 so 2 plus or minus 136 I squared divided by 2 so two numbers that multiply to 136 um, and one of them being a perfect square is 4 and 4 times 34 is equal to 136 so have 4 times 34 times I squared divided by 2 we have 2 plus or minus the 4 is going to jump out of the square root and become 2 and the i is also the i squared is also going to jump out and we're going to be left with an i and then we're going to still have the square root of 34 all divided by 2 and you can see that the 2's are going to divide out and we'll be left with 1 plus or minus the square root i the square root of 34. We're going to replace x with 1 minus i square root 34 and 1 plus i square root 34. So in your calculator you're going to use the uh, equation right here, x squared minus 2x equals negative 35, just like we did with the equation over here. And you're going to put 1 minus i square root 34 squared minus 2 times 1 minus i square root 34. And make sure you use parentheses with your calculator and this is just checking to make sure that these are both um, correct answers and when you do that in your calculator it should check out to equal negative 35 that is with 1 minus i square root 34 so you do the same with 1 plus i square root 34 and again, when you put that into your calculator with the uh, addition, the 1 plus i square root 34, that also equals. We have four solutions for this original equation, x squared minus 2x equals 35. And those are 7 negative 5, those being the real numbers, and the imaginary numbers are 1 minus i square root 34 and 1 plus i square root 34. And that is how you solve the problem.